Like Don Bias, he was comfortable with both swing and bebop artists. The difference is that he had a way of navigating through complex chord movements like nobody else. Who was Lucky Thompson? Here, I'm big on bebop. He was born Eli Lucky Thompson, June 16, 1924, in Columbia, South Carolina. He then moved to Detroit, Michigan, where he spent his childhood. Thompson had to raise his siblings after his mother died, and he practiced the saxophone fingerings on a broom handle before acquiring his first sax at 15. He joined Erskine Hawkins' band in 1942 upon graduating from high school. He played in local bands with Hank Jones and Sonny Stitt. He spent four months with Lionel Hampton in 1943. In 1944, he played with Sidney Catlett and Hot Lips Page. Joined the Billy Eckstein Band in late 1944, playing alongside Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker. He played with Count Basie for a year and lived in California from 1946 to 47. He recorded extensively with Boyd Rayburn and Dizzy Gillespie. He joined Louis Armstrong briefly and won the New Star Award for tenor sax in 1947. Also in 47, he led his own all-star group for RCA sessions that yielded one of the most moving ballad solos, Just One More Chance. He recorded with Charlie Parker on two Los Angeles dial record sessions. He was back in New York City in 1948, working with Oscar Pettiford at the Click Club. He also freelanced, leading his own band for two years at the Savoy Ballroom. He was relatively inactive until his role in the 1954 Miles Davis session, Walkin', bringing Thompson back to prominence. In February of 1956, he joined Stan Kenton's band in Paris, playing baritone sax and later playing tenor on Kenton's Cuban Fire LP. By this time, he had taken up the soprano sax. Thompson was strongly critical of music business, later describing promoters, music producers, and record companies as parasites or vultures. This in part led him to the move to Europe, where he lived and made several recordings between 1957 and 1960. Back in the United States, he recorded several albums for prestige. He had some distinctive work on soprano sax, while also keeping a relatively low profile as a single parent raising two sons. He returned to Europe for three years in 1968. His last known recordings were made in New York City from 72 to 1973. In 73 to 74, he taught at Dartmouth and Yale, then withdrew from the public arena, reportedly embittered and disillusioned with the jazz scene. Thompson's whereabouts after the mid-1970s are unclear. He is believed to have lived briefly in Canada and in Savannah, Georgia. In his last years, he lived in Seattle, Washington. Acquaintances reported that Thompson was homeless by the early 1990s and lived as a hermit. Lucky Thompson died from Alzheimer's disease in an assisted living facility on July 30, 2005. Lucky Thompson connected the swing era to the more cerebral and complex bebop style. His sophisticated, harmonically abstract approach to the tenor saxophone built off that of Don Bias and Coleman Hawkins and then played with the beboppers Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie. Lucky Thompson, a top tenor saxophone player.